welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheila. I'm a crazy person that share my life here on YouTube. I do all kinds of videos, but mostly lifestyle vlogs. But every now and then I will do a plain old sit down video. That being said, this video that you're about to see, I am doing the intro for because I was going to put this video in a vlog. Then I was going to do it separately. Then I decided to put it back in the vlog. And here we are yet again. I'm doing a separate video. So... <laughs> This is several days after the video was actually recorded and I realized that I didn't really show the purses on my body. And I think that's very important. I am 5'5 for reference. I weigh about 123 pounds, give or take a few pounds day to day. Um, I have a very straight body frame as you will see when I start showing you the purses. But I'm saying that because it's very important that you understand that when you're trying to decide how long do you want the straps to be if the strap that comes with it is okay, or if you want to buy the uh, the extra strap that goes with it, the enhancer, I guess, is what, is it called enhancer? I don't know, but anyway, um, it is a $20 purchase, and so um, I haven't looked on their site, but I know that the black, uh, the black extension, ex um, I know that the black um, extender was sold out, and I was gonna order it at the same time I ordered the brown purse, but it was sold out. So yeah, so anyway, I'm not gonna hold you up very much. I just want you to see what the purses look like. Like I said, I do have a black one and I do have a brown one. These are the two purses. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? I am so much in love with these purses. I cannot tell you. I just, they fit my every, every need right now. I'm changing the snap of a finger though because I love purses in general, but I will say for the money that you spend on these purses, they are definitely good purses, so. Just putting that out there. You do you, boo, because I'm not trying to force you to buy anything that you don't want to buy. I'm just here to share what I have. So let's go ahead and show you these purses. So at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, remember this video was recorded at two separate times. So you'll see two totally different outfits and two totally different looks all together because today I'm wearing a curly wig. <laughs> so anyway, beauties, please, please enjoy. And remember, if you are stopping by here for the first time, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am really trying to grow my channel and I would love for you to be a part of that. And also remember to turn on your notifications. That way you know each and every time I do a video. Like I said, I am currently posting a vlog pretty much every Friday and I am working on getting some other videos there in between. And also for reference, I am a breast cancer survivor and I'm also sharing that journey with you all as well. It's been a minute since I've uploaded one of those, but they're coming too. So anywho, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the very next one. Okay, beauties, I have just a few minutes before it's time for me to head out to go to my infusion appointment. And I kind of been wanting to do this for a while. I just haven't, I wanted to do a separate video to be honest with you all, but you know, the vlogs are so easy and I really need to do a breast cancer diaries update yes. video. So all of that to be said, only to share with you all these purses. <laughs> yes, you're not seeing double and your vision isn't blurred. It is two purses that look identical to each other except for the color. These purses are from a company called Portland Leather, and I love these purses. Okay, so the first purchase was this beauty right here, which is the black one, and it has the, you know, the, the crossbody strap as well as having the little strap that you can hold it on. It's got a little pouch in the front that holds a lot, and then it's basically an open pit. Now, you will see some things in this purse because I left some of the things in here when I moved my things from this purse to that purse. This little strap, we'll talk about that in a minute. A receipt, and this is a receipt from when I had bought the gray, well, when I returned the gray jumper. So yeah, 
And then this is the wallet that I had been using. I went back to using another wallet that I had, a little brush. I took this to work to show to my boss because she wanted to order some brushes. And then this is a lipstick from Kat Von D. Anything else in here? Oh, and one of my little bracelets. So that's all that's in here. And like I said, this is just an open pit of a purse. There's no pockets on the inside, which is somewhat of a drawback, but not really. So as you can see, this purse opens up like way big. And that's what I like about it because as small as it is, it holds so much. And it's pure leather it was my first one that I purchased. And I purchased black because in my head, I was like, you know, I need a basic good black small bag because I'm really enjoying carrying smaller bags now. So I got the black. However, right after I got the black, I was like, but I probably should have gotten a brown, like a cognac color or something like that so that I could kind of use that for the summer. Because, you know, black is very winter, even though, I mean, you know, I carry whatever I want whenever I want. But uh, black is typically, you know, like it's that winter color, like it's the winter color bag anyway. So right after I carried this one for probably, I don't know, maybe, I want to say I maybe carried it about a month. And then I just could not convince myself that I didn't need this purse. <laughs> so I ended up getting the brown. Now the black is more of a substantial leather. And then this is more of the, the softer leather. Like they're, they're both soft. I don't know. There's a, a name for this. Like I can't remember what it's called. But this is more like this is a sturdier leather than this one. This one is even more given. Even though the purses are very giving, this one is even more given. So this is the one that I'm currently carrying. So we're gonna just kind of talk about what's in this bag. I feel like I'm getting hot right now. Let me go turn my AC. All right, I'm back, y'all. Them hot flashes be something. Woo, fierce, y'all. Fierce, fierce, fierce. Okay, so <laughs> let's go back. Okay, so um, like I said, I don't even know where I was, but I am currently carrying the brown one. I'm loving this bag. I think when, the, you know, when it cools down a little bit more, I'm probably going to go back to this one or switch it up. I don't know, but I love these purses. They are so, they're just so me. Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and just kind of dive right into it because I'm looking at the clock and I'm realizing that this girl is going to have to walk out that door any minute now. So I always have to have my glasses because y'all know I can't see. And honestly, I feel like my vision got a little bit worse through uh, my treatment because I really feel like I can't see. Although the last time I did that, the, I went to the eye doctor and she was like, girl, you can see just fine. You got 20-20. And I was like, oh, I can't see. But anyway, so these are my little readers. And these I did order from Amazon. And these are the blue lenses, the blue light lenses with the reader in, um, prescription in them. So I do wear readers at 150 and I love these. I think they're so great. In fact, I think I may just order another set, even though they will all be the same color because, you know, I like them so much. And we're going to dig in. Oh, I was like, oh my God, did I just push this and turn you guys off? This is my little Bluetooth button that I use to turn my uh, video camera on and off whenever I'm doing a video. I actually lent my little setup to my boss's little girl who is... Um, studying drama and she needed to turn in an audition. So um, when it was given back to me, I had it stuck in my purse and got some Kleenex and got, this is a Texas Oncology card, which has one of my doctor's names on it. Um, oh, this is my radiologist card. And then I have some little alcohol pads. Y'all, these mosquitoes are serious. And I guess since I've had my treatment, my body reacts totally different to them, y'all. Not rashes, but like when they get like inflamed, I don't know what the word is, but you know, like I'm getting like, like serious inflamed. Like I had one on my arm, it was scary. And then I have a pen because I use my own pen when I go to places because I don't want to use someone else's pen because of Corona is still real out there, y'all. Still real out there. There's another alcohol patch. I get these alcohol patches from work. Anything else in here? Um, piece of paper that I need to throw away but I get these patches from work and they're really good to have because I like to throw them down in my purse so that um, I don't want to stick everything back in this one because I'm gonna have to head out the door so that if I am somewhere and I need to use an alcohol pad for whatever for cleansing reasons or whatever then I have it um, handy 
and because they're all sealed up, like they stay nice and, and like moisturized or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like they don't dry out. So <clears throat> here is the open pit. I am going to tell y'all this purse is a mess. I know it is. I glanced down in there and I thought, ooh, girl, you really want to do that today? But I am because I really have, have wanted to get this done. And um, you know what? Let me, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig in here because I'm gonna pull this out. This is my little sample size of my um, bum bum cream. This has been empty. Um, and what I've done is just taken some out of my big bottle to put into my little bottle. But y'all, my hands are super dry right now. And so let's go ahead and put a little of this on. I love this bum bum cream. Oh my God, y'all, it smells so good and it feels so good on the hands. It makes me feel. Oh, like I'm in heaven. Like I just love it. And I had just washed my hands prior to starting this video. So I know my hands probably look a little ashy. So we just gonna clean up these hands. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. So that is one of the things that I have in my bag. And now we're just gonna kind of reach in there and grab whatever we can grab. So I am back to carrying in my coach wallet. Y'all know I used to do videos all the time when I would do a what's in my bag and this was the wallet that I carried and carried and carried. Coach wallets last forever. I don't know what they make their wallets out of. I mean, I know leather, but I like, it's a special leather because they last forever. Um, and so, yeah. So anyway, I'm not going to like share with y'all what's in my wallet other than these are a ton of receipts that I've been getting things and returning things and buying things and all that good stuff because y'all, no, the girl has been on a budget thing trying to get this house in order. And uh, yeah, so I've been selling stuff and buying stuff. So that's my wallet. And this is a piece of paper. Um, I jotted down some notes at work to something that's going to be happening in my life in the very near future. And um, I needed to jot some notes down on it, but we won't talk about what that is until I'm ready to share that with y'all. And I'm going to leave my keys here, but I have, well, you know what? Let me just unhook it real quick. So these are my keys to my house, to my post office box, and to my personal mailbox, and of course to my car. This right here, is this a coach one? I can't remember, I don't think so. I think I couldn't, I don't remember. But um, I've had this forever, it's old as Methuselah. And, but what I really like about this keychain is because it has this little thing on there, and because this purse has the little hooks on there that you hook the straps onto, I just hook my keys to the side and I always have my keys handy. So I'm just gonna reach in there now and I'm gonna grab, this is my fingernail file. I keep it inside of one of the little cases like so. Love having that handy. Gonna reach in there and just grab. I usually try to have a hand sanitizer that's like from Bath and Body Works, somewhere where things smell really good as my one that I keep in my purse so that I can always get that little fresh aroma. I know that we're getting better and we're getting closer to normality, but as for me and my world, we still the wear the mask. We, we still sanitize our hands the whole nine yards. So I like to keep one that smells good inside my purse. And then we're gonna, my headset. Um, right now I'm doing some crazy fouling at work. And so, um, I use my headset uh, to keep me entertained. And this is my lipstick, that one of my lipsticks that I keep in my purse. And so I have a pair of rubber gloves in my purse. Now I initially put these in my purse for a specific reason, although I don't remember what the reason was for. Like I think I was going to when I really was thinking I was going to need them while I was out. Um, and I don't know, I can't remember why, but then I decided, you know what, they, they're basically weightless. They, I feel nothing. And I used to have like a little pouch that had like all kinds of stuff in there. The little, little thing of wipes and then the sanitizer and all that. And I don't know, like I think it was not really a pouch. It was like a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag and a Ziploc bag broke. And so I've been just kind of like doing this thing. Like I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna leave these in there and have them in case I need them. And the hand sanitizer, I just have thrown down in there. So, and then this little pouch right here, this is another coach pouch, pouch, which as you can see, these two are from the same leather. They have that, it's that bubbled leather, I think is what they call it. I don't know, but anyway, um, this is a little card keeper. I've had this one for a while. I wanna say I got these basically at the same time. I don't really, I can't really remember for sure, 
but I have all kinds of cards in here and things like that. Not credit cards, but like, uh, you know, like when you get your points, y'all know this girl is all about point systems and all that kind of stuff. And I have, uh, whenever I get gift cards, I put my gift cards in there so that I always have them with me in case I end up at a place and I want to use my gift cards. So I have them, you know, and then I have a couple of the little soft mints. I usually have one of these when I do my infusion because I get very nauseous from when they do the, the saline. Oh, I hate it. And it comes up in my mouth and it always makes me nauseous. And then this is kind of like my little makeup bag, but not really so much like, I mean, I have makeup in here and I guess, yeah, for lack of better words, I'm going to call it a makeup bag because I do have like some, I love this. Oh my God. I want to put some on right now. I have some perfume. I have a couple of lipsticks. I have my little, um, face thing that, that, you know, get rid of oil. This is old school, y'all old school, old school. They used to like back in the day, they had the little ones that were kind of like a, like a pinkish red color. Everybody had them in the purse. My mom had one in her purse. I probably have had this probably 15, 20 years, honestly, because I bought a lot of them, not this particular one. Well, I haven't been using this particular one for 15 or 20 years. Let me clarify, but, um, I bought like a lot of these. I think this is the last one I have left. I gave my son some because my son has really oily skin and he wanted, he liked using mine when he was younger. And he was like, mom, you know, and I found the black ones. He was like, mom, thank you so much. Like I like having the black ones cause you know, they make, they're a little bit more masculine than pulling out like a, kind of like a pink, pink puff to, to get the oil off your face. But he loves having these things. And so I have to ask him if he still uses them. I don't know. Cause he hasn't asked me to get them. So probably not. But yeah, so this is really just full. It's got a little mirror in there. I just got stuff, you know. Um, I mainly had this, which I still will keep in there. But when I didn't have my brows, when I was going through breast cancer, um, I never knew when I was going to accidentally wipe off my brows. And so I would always have that handy. And then I've got some eye concealer in here. Um, another alcohol pad. Just some stuff. And then this is the hourglass this is a um a brightening concealer type of thing i, I don't even remember what it's called but i don't have my glasses on so y'all i'm not gonna be reading all that and yes it looks like it's really really dirty but honestly it is the black dye that rubbed off of here and so i actually do want to find myself another bag it's a teddy bear fur it's one of those i want that makeup bag so bad um and okay move the keys out of the way and so then this is my abuterol inhaler because of my allergies i do have to do that every so often move these keys out of the way these are some little candies that i got from the place that i get my nails done and i don't know have i ever did it i think this is a like a fresh mask i'm not sure how i ended up with this baby down in my purse but poor thing it's all squished and everything but I'm just gonna put him back down in there because he may come in handy. And then I have a Band-Aid, a random Band-Aid in there. So that is everything. Wait a minute, is there in the, oh wow, there's two random Band-Aids in there. How cool is that? I have a couple Band-Aids. So actually I think I'm gonna move these Band-Aids too. I think I'm just gonna put the Band-Aids in here so that I'll have them. So the way I, I pack this purse is, I always put this at the bottom because this is something that I'm only gonna need, like if I'm going to go to a store and I know that I'm going to that store to use a gift card or whatever, then I will probably get the gift card out and have it like in my wallet ready to go. So I usually just lay this one bottom, at the bottom, kind of lay it flat. And then I usually take my makeup bag and stick it to the side, my wallet, and then my abiterol. I usually put that on the opposite side to where my keys are. And I do have the little case for this, but it's outside of my car actually. And then, oh, I meant to put the gloves. You know what? Let's put the gloves back on the bottom where they were. So put my little smell good stuff. And then my hand sanitizer, sit that there. Put my fingernail file back in. I usually just kind of set that straight up. Toss this candy back down in there and toss that candy in there. As you can see, all of that fit inside this bag. And I still have plenty of room if I wanted to put some more stuff in there, but I don't want it to be very heavy, so I don't put anything else. And most of the time, I originally thought that I would always stick my phone like right here, 
but because it does open up so wide and my glasses always fall over a lot of times I, ha I don't have the space to stick my phone like my phone will stick up so I've been finding that I have just laid my phone across the top and it's easy access and I'm able to grab it if it rings or someone texts me and I'm out and about now let's talk about the straps on this see how long the strap is so I ended up ordering uh, the strap extender for this bag I when they advertised this bag, it was very deceiving because they gave the illusion that the straps were longer than what they were. Like, um, So this one I don't have the extender for, and so I don't know if you can really see, but you can tell that there's a lot more strap over here than here. I've gotten kind of used to this, and this does make it a little bit long, but I'd rather have long than short. Like I'm one of those people that I don't like having a strap I don't like having a purse like up high. Like, I don't know, it bothers me for some reason. So the extender is a, so I'm trying to figure, I don't even remember how I did it. So this is the part of the regular strap. I honestly don't even remember how I did it, y'all. So I'm, I'm in here trying to tell y'all something about the lot of y'all. I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't want to tell y'all a lie but anyway this was the part of the old purse like the regular strap that came with the purse and then i think this is the extender part i don't know y'all oh i get it i think this is the this is this is the extender and then this was attached to here that went there there we go i knew if i worked on it on it long enough my brain could figure it out so this is the extender piece and this was the regular piece and i just was attached just was attached and attached here so that made it yay short so anyway y'all thanks for hanging out with me while i do this little impromptu what's in my handbag like i said these purses are from portland leather um and these are what they consider the irregular ones that may have somewhat of a flaw but i didn't find the flaw they have the raw edges they don't have like there's a lot not a lot put into the bag but they are a very good quality of leather I have loved both of them. I've had them now for a few months. I enjoy them a lot. If you are looking for a bag that has like a little handle, can carry a lot, also works as a crossbody, and if you like leather the way that I do, I would recommend these bags because they are very, very good bags. And like I said, I am enjoying the fact that I have both the black and the browns. Like I even told myself, I must really like this purse because I bought both colors. This one I paid $85 for and this one I paid $89 for. So not sure why the difference was, but I think they just have these random sales and they were retailing originally at like two something. So I, I got a good deal all in all for the bag. I do love them a lot. I know I've just said that I'm not gonna say it again, but yeah, so if you're interested, I will put the website information in my description bar. Feel free to go check them out. Not anything I'm going to make money off of, but you know, I like to share with you all the things that I like because you know, it's all about that. So let's just toss all these things back in and I'm looking at the clock and I need to get my bum bum out the door. Y'all go do this infusion. Yeah, I will check with y'all later. Bye.